Hey guys, it's Jeff with I Don't Low Blog. I want to talk about icon commands today. Now, icon commands is a very interesting tweak. It basically allows you to have sort of like an activator type of action for all your icons. If you remember that tweak Aptivator that I reviewed maybe about a couple of weeks ago, this is a little similar, although it does take a different uh, turn on, on things here, as you'll see. It is available on the Big Boss repo. It's $1.99. Own Cydia requires iOS 4 or higher. Basically, you can perform specific actions for the number of taps um, that you, you know, tap on an app icon. It's pretty simple. Uh, and you can set all this up by means of a settings panel dedicated solely to icon commands. So you don't actually have to use Activator to use this. It has its own dedicated section. Um, so there are lots of different things you can do. You can, uh, you know, launch icons. You can get info about app icons, etc. Let me show you the settings panel here for icon commands. Here it is. And you see all the different taps you have. You can have up to eight taps on a specific app icon, which is pretty ridiculous. Actually, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> it's a lot of taps. But you see all the different things. You have name, app info, Google search, safe mode, photo, delete, hide, set jiggling, launch icon, respring. So you can do all those actions by means of just tapping on your apps. So now let me uh, select app info here for one tap. Um, let's try that out. Oops, actually hit the wrong. Let's go back here. Select app info again. Okay, now let's go back to our home screen. Now watch what happens when I tap. You see you get the app ID and then you get the path. So you can actually launch iFile directly to the path of the app in question, which is really neat, great for tweakers. Now, one thing I want to mention is that when I enabled this uh, single tap to show app info, I didn't reassign launch icon to another tap sequence, so I'm going to be stuck. So you're not going to want to do like I did in this video. Otherwise, you won't be able to get back into your settings to change your preferences, which is bad. Now, let, let me just launch uh, Byte SMS in iFile. And here's great if you want to tweak Byte SMS, etc. So very nice provision there with icon commands. Now let me show you something else. Let's switch it to two taps this time. Keep single tap on icon launch. Let's try uh, add icon to photo library. How about that one? Let's see. Let's go back to our home screen now. Let's choose an app icon to uh, to work with here. Let's try Facebook Messenger. So just double tap that. You get a message, success, image successfully added to the photo library, and you can see it here. So that's that's interesting. And like I said, I don't know who would actually use that, but it is interesting. So back to our settings. Let's see. We want to choose one more to show you guys. Set jiggling, launch icon, respring, delete. Tons of different things here that you can assign. But I think, you know what? I think I'm going to go with the Google search. Yeah, let's go with the Google search. Let's go ahead and tap that. Go back to our home screen. Now, two taps on the app icon will launch a Google search, hopefully. There we go. So you just type in your search term there. So, folks, that is icon commands in a nutshell. It is, again, available on the Big Boss repo for the price of $1.99. So if this looks interesting to you, you're going to want to check this out, folks. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownload.